All right, we're going <clears throat> do the review on this tumbler. It's a uh, we go electric. It's a good five pound deal. Uh, the last C10 that we uh, just got done with and sold, I uh, see hardware that's on it that anybody put on it that's just any kind of hardware. I try to locate the hardware, put the hardware that goes back in the trucks, that go in the trucks, original. You can find a lot of it on on eBay, Amazon, what all. You can find the right stuff. That way, you don't have a bunch of different bolts in it. And these are all original out of the truck. It holds the cross support on, the radiator support. And so what we're going to do is, let's look at them. They kind of, you know dirty but they can be either uh put in a the old uh the, the spark plug cleaner sandblast them each one at a time and paint them whatever we're gonna try them out in this thing here see how good this is uh, i do have another tumbler it's already packed it's easy for me to grab another tumbler do some polishing paint get them back on there you know what i mean we'll ceramic coat them the black and uh put them back on the cross number but let's open this thing up see what we got and see how well it how well it cleans these bolts all right let's get on with it yes first off we grab me something uh dull to open this up with I hate to cut myself I think it's just a shot on the side. Come out the top here, I think. I think it will. Don't worry about the engine out there. We'll do a review on it. Uh, a couple weeks or so. I've had it for a while. Some of y'all seen the videos of it. Let's see if it's upside down. Or how it is here. I tried to... Uh, Put the bolts back in the truck to go in there because most people put any kind of hardware in them, you know what I mean? But the hardware is good, I'll try to paint it up and use it. It's supposed to be like a, a five pound deal, it's seven inches across, what all, like five inches tall. What we got here. Well, what I'll do is I'll uh, set up reading all the directions and what all kind of input our, on our time, and what all, and see what how much time it says do do the bolts. And I did buy this one here because it it specifically says something about doing the the metal metal part so we got three bags of the looks like walnut that's probably where it is I have to look and see I think it's walnut Get this thing on out here try this thing out see what uh what it do now I do have all the little screws everything off that thing different bags built all right got some springs on this thing boy I'm gonna see uh, right quick if I can find it how long uh, it says we need to use uh, or how much uh, walnut we need and see how long it takes and then we'll see if it really takes that long or not I see right here grinding wire connected ground I always talk about the ground stuff and the safety stuff we got to gotta have the gotta have the safety stuff you know what I mean gotta have it here's some operating instructions right here let's see if it shows the time 
on this here and see if it needs more time or less time what it talks about so uh, where it says make sure all grease is off all your parts if we knew that uh, make sure you ain't got no grease on it throw them over in there really wouldn't want to do that you know what I mean all right so it says right here I'll throw a little picture up here on this uh, this instructions here but it did say for moving rust uh, commercially available treated plastic metals or whatever uh, depending on condition materials you have to leave the tumbler two to six hours so well uh, if I wanted to know how long does it take for the boat to be cleaned up looking good it said two to six hours so well uh, that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put them in there two to six hours I'm sure it's a bag here per uh, for a thing I'll read that and make sure you know what I mean we'll put a little bit in there and it may take two of them we're gonna see I'm going to show them to y'all one more time. That's what they look like when we uh, put them in there. And they'll probably take a wire brush, clean them off, paint them, whatever. But let's see what, uh, let's just see what this does. I don't want to know. I got a bunch I've got to do when it's on the truck. We'll see what, uh, how good this thing does. I'm going to see what it says something about. <clears throat> it says anything about how much stuff to put in there it does say for uh, that's it you can use the corn cob or walnut shell it's saying so just talk about degreasing it, make sure it's clean before it's off. Think we put that stuff in there. So I'm thinking, it doesn't say, or does it? How far to fill it? Hardware, move the small parts, polishing, small. And I'll, I'll uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, pictures and throw these uh, instructions up so y'all can see them yourself, you know what I mean? We fill the tumbler <clears throat> about two-thirds full of the polishing material, so we'll take two bags, looks like. Yeah, it'll take two bags. All right, throw them small boats over there with it. Let them ride, too. I can always separate them, and I know that the big stuff you know, take it off of that. Is it two thirds? That's only about half. But let me see what I want to do. Let me look what's in that bag. I won't put anything in there. It might, it might hurt. You know what I mean? Does everything got to do with the trim? What all? I'm gonna throw these over in there. Clean them up. Make sure there's all four of them in there. Mm 
you know, I'm going to keep these separated because this had to do with the, uh, after the cross member was on there, do I just throw them in there, huh? Throw it all in there. Be done with. Try this out. See how well it does. I don't think I got anything else really too well. Uh, go in there. I think I'm gonna throw in there is these uh these here. Let me put a heck of them. About half, so I have to get some more walnut shell. We're only about half. It says two thirds. That's probably why it sent what it sent. I've got another. Um, I got a box of walnut shell. Like I say, I, I packed all that. It's kind of packed up. We're gonna put the lid on it. We'll start it. Open it up, kind of take a peek at it, see what's happening in there. Yeah, I've got a uh, a rotating one. I don't have a the one that does all the vibrating and rotating like this does. We're gonna try this one out. See what it does. Let's see if this has got power on it. It might. Let's see. It does not. Yeah, you got power on it. You got power. All right. Keep all this right here in case it, in case it quit before the two or four hours is up. And we'll do another review later on. See, you know, like a, after I use it a bunch. And see if it lasts. See this right here. We're just going to take a peek at it. We'll do a little video. Put it rotating in there. It don't make a mess. It ain't real, real loud. It's quieter than what I thought it'd be. Okay. We'll do a, we'll do a little video. See what it do. So it's um. Let's see what time it is now. Like uh. Noonish, I think. Now, so it's uh twelve fifteen. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna come back at uh say two thirty. We'll take a peek at it and see what it looks like. See if it's doing any cleaning. Then we'll uh, take a peek at it. So about 6 o'clock, we'll say 2 to 4 or whatever, 2 to 6 hours. But by 6, they ought to be polished and cleaned up, looking good. So let's, uh, let's get on with it, see what it does.
two hour deal. Let's see what uh what it looked like. Two hours. We're gonna carry on to uh our uh our six hour deal but we find one of the bolt down in here. I threw a rock in there kind of see if it would do anything with the and our bolts. So far, you know, hold on. Here's those wrenches I threw in there. What? Polish them up nice. This we got in here on this nut. Maybe we'll clean them enough to, uh, Paint them. Get some more right here. I threw a socket over in there. I wouldn't take it out because it ain't. It ain't in the way. That swivel I put in there. Now there's still a bunch of stuff in here. See what. <clears throat> it do probably hurt it help it I don't know little pieces Just clean them up good all right so we'll come back and check it on our uh our six hour so it's gonna run four hours more straight. Let's see what what this stuff look like. I bet the bolts will look good. Be ready for paint what all. But anyway, let's see what happens at the six hour moment. six hour thing now last night when the six hours was up I came out and just turned it off I didn't have time something came up and I had to uh, go take care of something but let's open this thing up look at it see what we got and I hope uh, hope everything lived um, it should have We'll see. They should, should be clean. If they're cleaning up the paint, now I ain't got to mess with them. You know, that's, that's kind of what I'm looking for. You can see right here that they haven't been messed with yet. I'm going to dump it out here on this little tray. Get everything out of it. I could just dig through it and get some stuff out and then pour it out. I might try that first. Get what we can out of it then dump it out. See what we got. What we got here? That sure is a nice day out here, ain't it? Sunday. I got my 8 o'clock coming up tonight. I just throw these little videos here up just kind of randomly, you know. Let's go and take and uh, dig out some of it. I threw some bottle caps in there just to see what it would do to them. It just dulled them, looks like. I'll put this stuff on this small tray. I'll dump out on a bigger tray. smooth feel good of course I have to clean them up you kind of spray them off when you uh, put the coating on them I'm going to uh, put that 
ceramic on them. Move the can out of here. We'll look at it. Like I say, just they just dulled the bottle caps. But hey, we uh had to try it out, see what it do, you know. I do have a tumbler that uh that polish rocks. Take all this out real quick. Man, it put a shine on the little wrenches right there, I know that. So I'll dig dig the rest of this out. dump it out Well, what we'll do now. Throw this back in the clean them up in there man there's no uh there's no sharp edges on them anymore they're gonna look good coated put back in there but these are right ones they did good as far as positive anything else and that means the time these little wrenches were kind of dull. Clean those little things up, didn't it? It didn't. It kind of polished the. Huh. 
I put a battery in there and didn't know it. Oh well. Cleaned it up, didn't it? Probably a good battery. But anyway. So I didn't sandblast them and a lot to well just use carburetor cleaner or brake cleaner to uh clean them up, paint them, put them back on there, but you know I'm in no hurry for this project. They did the cleaning for me. All you do is spray them and be done. So that's where we are on this. Let's um kind of rate this thing. This is the first time use on this thing, and we'll be using it some more. <clears throat> but as of right now, if you if you're somewhere where you can't use um, so let's rate this thing. So if you're somewhere where you can't use like a brake clean or a gas or parts washer, don't have the stuff you need or got to watch where your chemicals are or don't want to mess with chemicals if you clean them off real good your your hardware off your, your project it'll clean it up okay uh, I could use brake clean carb clean, whatever where I'm at you what I want but <clears throat> if you're not in a big hurry you just want to unbolt something throw it over in there and clean it up it does a pretty good job I like it I'm gonna give it a as far as the first time use what it did for me I'm gonna give it a nine I'm not gonna say why but I'm gonna give it a nine right now so what I'm gonna do next is <clears throat> with the stuff that was in the little bag we're gonna throw it over in there next Sunday's video I'm gonna throw a flash in there and just show what it did to it we're gonna see if it does anything to the harsh you know the, the little stuff um, I already ordered the screws for the bevels for the headlights and all so I'm not worried about if it messes them up we're good but we're gonna throw that over in there run it like I say next Sunday we'll talk about it on a regular video not a review video but it will be in there on what it did to that okay so if uh, looking for a tumbler I, I, I can't suggest this one and it is what it is thanks for watching